guys, welcome back to another episode of LS54. Today we'll be using a 2013 Chevy Tahoe, and we'll be using an unmarked 2013 Chevy Tahoe, but we'll be patrolling in Grove Street. We'll be doing a gang unit patrol instead of just like a normal patrol. So we'll be responding to like gang activity, uh, stuff like that. Uh, we'll be responding to like suspicious people or suspicious vehicles or um, if there's reports of gunfire or something like that then we'll respond to things like that and uh, we'll assist or see what goes on but anyways yeah we're gonna be doing a gang unit patrol here in Grove Street we'll just go throughout Grove Street probably up to uh, uh, Form Drive and over in that area so anyways we'll go ahead and get this episode started the uh, link will be in the description for the vehicle and uh, yeah so we'll go and get this episode started dispatch you can show me 10 and we'll see what we get into Okay, so we're getting reports of uh, possible 1062s, or not 1062, 1061s. Um, it's going to be a gang riot, it says. Where is it at? Uh, well, it's not really in, I guess you can call this a grocery area. But anyways, we'll go and respond to it. There's uh, reports of gang riot, so we've got some suspicious activity going down at the, um, I think it's Lonestein Boulevard. So we'll be responding code 3. There's uh, um, suspicious uh, people. Which is uh, 1061s. I don't know why there's somebody in the lane in the road there, but we're just uh, right down the road from it. We'll go ahead and meet this iron here. I'm just gonna pull through here since uh, we can take a shortcut. Shots fired, dispatcher. Uh, here, shots fired. Copy. Yep, shots fired. I'm gonna go oncoming truck here. All right, dispatcher, we're getting shots fired on uh, Little Bighorn Avenue. If I can get some assistance. I need, my, I need my carbine rifle for this. Hold on, let's get my carbine rifle. We have shots fired over there on the sidewalk. And there goes my hat. Okay, we have this guy here beating the crap out of this. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. She shoots again. Yeah, she's going down. I'm going to go and place this one in cuffs. I believe we have more. Yeah, we have some suspects downs right now. We're gonna go ahead and close this road off. Take a seat on the ground for me, man. Right, we're gonna go ahead and grab our carbine rifle. We'll go go ahead and continue. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. All right, dispatch. We have uh, multiple suspects down. We're gonna need EMS. Attention, all units. We have an ambulance call in Rancho. I'm gonna go ahead and retrieve these weapons. I got shot in the face, so uh, we'll probably have to be looked out um, by medical. Um, so we'll go ahead and open the road back up for medical. And I'm not sure where the suspect went that we had there sitting on the ground. I believe he disappeared. Piece of crap. Or something happened to him. I'm not sure where he went. Anyways, um, medical is 1097. So, uh, the whoa. I guess it's my fault for uh, running down the road. Oh, but anyways, man. um... Medical is going to go ahead and treat these guys, see if they can get them back up. We've got two females down here, um, another female here that got beaten to death. Um, not sure where the suspect went that we had in custody, but I believe that's all there is. I'm not sure where this guy's going, the paramedic. So they're going to go ahead and treat him, make sure to you know, treat them, um, see if they can get them back up, and they wasn't able to get them back up. So. I'm gonna make sure the uh, okay. We got some more pool of blood over here. I'm not sure where that's coming from. Okay, so nobody's back over here. We're gonna go ahead and okay. just uh, secure the area. Make sure there's nobody else down here. Uh, looks like um, they wasn't able to get the female up there on the sidewalk. I'm not sure about the other side. Yeah, they're working on them. See if they can get them back up. So we'll need a corner to come down here. Okay, they was able to get this one up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grab my taser out. All the way to the ground. All the way to the ground. All the way to the ground, dude. All the way to the ground. That's what you get. Okay, we have more guys coming at me. What is going on, guys? I'm gonna get beaten. Oh, okay, yeah, but I'm screwed. I'm stuck in the animation. I'm stuck in the animation. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Boom. Stay on the ground, dude. Stay on the ground. All the way to the ground. We're gonna go and call it EMS for these two. Since it just knocked them out. 
Okay, so we're going to have uh, two in custody now since uh, these two just uh, assaulted me. Dispatch, we're going to have uh, one Hispanic male and one female in custody. Scene is uh, still not code 4 at this time. Go ahead and take a seat on the ground for me. Alright, ma'am, go ahead and take a seat on the ground for me. Okay, we have medical back and route uh, to pick up these uh, two. This one over here and that one there. The bodies have disappeared from the... Yeah, no, never mind. There they are. Okay. We're going to go and get corner out here and pick Come up on, uh, this female behind us. Hope we got here in time. Medical is dealing with these two. I'm not sure where that one's going, but... This one's gonna be tough. Yeah, these two got whipped by a taser because they were so close to me and they assaulted me. So I was trying to tase them, but I whipped them with my taser. But that's what they get for um, oh, trying to assault me. I'm just going to wait until they get these two oh, done and over with. And if they can't get them up, then we'll call for um, the corner. And then the, oh, there they are. There's the corner. All right, well. Looks like uh, we have two deceased, three deceased at this time, at, at the scene, and there was one up here. Let's go ahead and move our vehicle down, that way we're not blocking the traffic, as well as, uh, that way we can put the two suspects in the vehicle. Alright. Dispatch, uh, we've got 1071 on scene to pick up the deceased individuals from the uh, gunfire. Alright, ma'am. Do you have anything on you to know about? Anything to poke me or anything? Do you have a license on you? I'm just going to go ahead and grab that real quick. Alright, Jessica. Right now you're going to be placed in arrest for assault on a public official. Do you understand? Okay, well, Jessica, it looks like you have a warrant for your arrest, so you will be going to jail as well for the uh, um, your warrant and then the uh, assault on a public official. So, go ahead and just, uh, I'll, just I'll just get them to sit on the ground for me. Go ahead and take a seat right here. We're going to keep them split up for right now. Um, we're going to go ahead and deal with him. Call for prison transport for these two. Alright, sir. Do you have anything on you need to know about? Anything to poke me or stick me or anything? And do you have a license on you? I'm going to grab that real quick. Alright, David. Looks like you have a valid license to active warrants. You'll be going to jail today for uh, assault on a public official. Do you understand? Go ahead and take a seat on the ground for me. Alright guys, uh, we're going to be calling a prison transport for you two. Two separate prison transports so you guys are not riding together. And uh, you'll be going down to the um, uh, detention center. So multiple single transports is what we'll need. Dispatch, I'm going to be needing two 1016s for a white male and an expanded male that I have 1015. And the scene will be code 4. But I won't be able to do a, um, what do you call it? I uh, won't be able to do a rest report because these two are not going to be in my hands. Since there are two of them, I can't do two rest reports, so I'm just going to let these transport units do the rest report and take them in. So, uh, we'll go ahead and just make ourselves available, get back out there and see what else go on, what's going on out there. So dispatch, you can show me 10-8 and we'll see what else we can get into. So we're getting reports of a person with a knife, so I'm going to go and respond to this code 2 at this time. Um, there's uh, one person with a knife, so it's going to be a possible... It's, well, it could be possible gang activity or it could be something along the lines of that, but it's a 1061 uh, person, a suspicious person, so I want to go and respond to it just right here, I believe at the Ron station. I'm just going to go around this vehicle. Slow down. Suspect, is, Suspect is a male. Um, not seeing anybody. I believe it's the one crossing the road right here. Yeah, it's probably the one crossing the road here. We're good. Yeah, he has a knife. All right, dispatch. I'll be out at uh, 1061. It's going to be a black male. We have a criminal resisting. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Uh, dispatch. He's going to be fleeing ready. from me on foot. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. I'll tase you. Do not come at me. Let me see your hands. 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 I'm not going to tase you again. Dispatch. Taser been deployed twice now all the way up hands all the way up all the way to the ground dispatch I'm gonna have uh, one black male at 1015 okay so we got two charges so far on this guy 
he tried to kill me um, so it will be aggravated assault because he tried to kill me with his knife and my life was in danger but I had my taser so anyways uh, the other charge will be uh, resisting arrest and uh, I could add uh, attempted murder but I don't know should I add attempted murder I don't know I think I'm going to I don't know I don't know if I will or not but anyways all right, sir. Um, right now, you're gonna be placed in arrest. I'm gonna probably add um, uh, attempted murder to your list of charges, so you're gonna be charged with uh, aggravated assault since you tried to kill me with a uh, weapon. My life was in danger, um, and then you'll also be charged with uh, attempted murder and resisting arrest because you resisted from me once I got on the scene. And I try to talk to you and see what's going on here. We got reports of a person with a knife, and then you took off from me, and then. Once, once you tripped, you got back up and tried to stab me, which that is attempted murder and assault or uh, aggravated assault. So, so uh, would you have anything I need to know about? I'm thinking to poke me or anything? Uh, do you have a license on you? I'm going to grab that real quick. I'm going to search it real quick. Just patch it down real quick. Would you have anything I need to know about? All right, Tyler. Looks like you have a suspended license, so um, luckily you wasn't driving, so I won't be able to charge you with uh, you have a suspended license. So go ahead and take a seat in the back of the vehicle. All right, so um, he's gonna be placed in arrest, so he's gonna be put in the back of the vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, fill the arrest report real quick for him, and we'll go ahead and get a prison transport out here. Let's see. Um, yeah, uh, he's going to be charged with, what is it? No, it's not in here. It's going to be violent. It's going to be uh, resisting arrest with violence. I don't know if I should add that because, I don't know. We'll do it anyways because, you know, he had a knife and, um, you know, he was resisting and then he started to try to, he tried to uh, attack me with his knife. So, let's see, assault, um, aggravated battery, that's what we'll do. Why didn't I add it? There we go. Um, what was the other thing? Where is attempted murder at? I don't see... Hold on. Homicide. Um, attempted murder of a police officer. That's what we'll do. There we go. Okay, so he's going to be going in for those three charges as you guys can see there. Um, we'll go ahead and just... Uh, so three felonies. We'll go ahead and click save and clear and call it in dispatch. Dispatch, I'm gonna have um, I'm gonna be needing a 1016 to pick up one black mail that I have 1015. I'll be 108 off of a ARF. Okay, so we're getting reports of wait, could get to the scene and speak with the 911 caller. So we're getting reports of a 1061. Um, it's a person being suspicious at an at, a, at an ATM. So we'll go and respond to this. Uh, wait, hold on. Press Y to use the interaction menu. Okay. It's pretty way. It's pretty far out from our uh, location, so we'll respond codes here at this time. That way we can get there as fast as we can. Uh, it is kind of out of our area or jurisdiction, whatever you want to call it, because it's not really the gang activity area. But we'll go and respond to it anyways, since uh, this is the last call of the episode. We've had a lot of uh, suspicious activity in today's episode, so we'll go ahead and just respond to this real quick, see what's going on here. Trying to get there as fast as we can, but I don't really want to alert the uh, person that they're talking about. I'm going to go ahead and turn off our lights. Dispatch, you can show me 1097. Attention all units. Okay, there's a weird... That was weird. Okay, so we have a, a gray van just spud out of the area, out, out of the alleyway, so I'm going to go ahead and speak with them see what's going on here. Uh, describe what you uh, witnessed. Uh, I was across the street and I saw a woman uh, spending a lot of time at the ATM. I'm not sure she had some kind of uh, electronic device in her hand. Uh, okay. Um, what did the suspect look look like? Um, she was a white female. Uh, what did you see? Suspect is a white female. Um, she uh, there there was a gr uh, gray Vapid vans parked nearby. She got into. Okay. Alright, so 
All units, ATL suspects 20. Okay. All right, so, uh, sir, we'll go ahead and look for that female driving that gray van. So just, um, I guess if we need to get hold of you, I guess we'll know where you are, all right? We'll try to look out for that person. Okay, dispatch, I'm going to need you to put a bolo out for a gray van, white female driving it. It's right there. That's it, right there. I knew that van was suspicious, uh, the way they was acting. They had, um, they had flee the area or just sput out of the areas. What are they doing? I'm not sure what they're doing, but that was a legal U-turn. You can't make a U-turn there. That's why those yellow lines are there for a reason. I've got eyes on that vehicle. Is it a white female? Uh, kind of looks like one. Could be a white male. I don't know why they're not going. What are they doing? What are they doing? I guess I need to be directly behind them because I'm trying to pull them over, but they're acting weird. And they're wrecking the wall. Watch it. Nope. This is the vehicle I'm trying to stop, but they're not stopping for us. What was that? Okay, I'm not sure what this car is doing. They could be possibly under the influence. We're going to leave him right there. Dispatch, we're going to have 1081. It's going to be on a uh, gray minivan. It's going to be possibly that Bolo vehicle. I can't get the plate number. It's going to be uh, northbound Power Street and low uh, low Power Street. Let's go. Okay, let's see if this is the right plate. Um, what was it? Well, I don't know if it's the right plate, so whatever. Hello, ma'am. I'm uh, with the Los Santos Police Department. You want know, to put you today? Okay, so once we use this, speak to the suspect. Wait. Uh, can you tell me where you were? Uh, wait. Can you tell me? Wait. Can you tell me where you were about five minutes ago? Okay, she's taking off, so she's definitely the suspect. Dispatch. Vehicle is gonna be fleeing from me. I'm gonna be in pursuit of that vehicle. It's gonna be a gray vapid minivan. It's going to be northbound Power Street. It's going to be that suspect that we're looking for. We're going to go ahead and stop them. I'm not sure what their problem is. Um, they're just acting suspicious at an ATM, and now they're fleeing from us, so they're going to jail. Out of the car, I want to see your hands. Police, All the way to the ground. The you're doing? Dispatch, we're going to have uh, the vehicle stopped on eastbound Integrity Way and Interstate 2. Dispatch, I'm going to have one white female 1015. Alright, ma'am. Right now, you're going to be placed in arrest uh, for uh, fleeing or uh, felony evading. Uh, reckless, no. We will, uh, yeah, I don't know. They were really reckless driving. They ran one stop sign. We may do reckless driving. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm just going to mute my siren real quick. There we go. Alright. So this this kind of call is kind of not really gang activity um, because like there was like I don't know I don't I just don't know if it's really they're not gang members so they're not it's not really gang activity but it is suspicious activity so I didn't know if it was gang related so all right ma'am do you have a license on you I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that real quick so I stopped you because you um, were driving the way you were back there. And we got reports of suspicious activity at ATM. So right now, it looks like you'll be placed in arrest for uh, felony evading, reckless driving. You have a warrant for your arrest, so you'll be going to jail for um, that warrant. Um, so I'm not sure what you was doing at the ATM, but you just acted suspicious. I'm not sure what you was doing, but it doesn't really matter. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, place you in arrest for those two charges or those three charges. Do you, have any, do you have anything I need to know about? Anything to poke me or anything? Do you have anything in that vehicle need to know about? Anything to poke me or anything? Want to go to search that vehicle? Okay, they got a bloody knife and an AR-10. Go ahead and sit, sit in the vehicle and just uh, watch your head when you're stepping in. 
Okay, so she's going to be placed in arrest. Um, she's put in the vehicle, so she'll be placed in arrest for those three charges. We're going to go and search the vehicle, make sure there's nothing else illegal in it, and uh, we'll get it towed out of here. Dispatch, you can cancel the bolo for the suspect that we're looking for uh, in that gray minivan. I'm going to have that one suspect in custody. Okay, so we didn't find nothing legal in the vehicle, so go ahead and call a tow truck for it. Dispatch, I'm going to be uh, standing by for a 1048 as well as a 1016. So, uh, they damaged our vehicle because we got in front of them to try to do a roll and roadblock. So, I mean, the ve the vehicle's damaged like that because I was trying to do a roll rolling roadblock. Rolling roadblock. That word's just tough. Anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and just fill the rest report real quick. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, reckless driving. Um, evading arrest. And what was the other thing? A uh, warrant. Yeah, she has a warrant for arrest. A warrant for arrest. There we go. So two misdemeanors and one warrant. So okay. So we're gonna go and call for prison transport dispatch. I'm gonna be 10-8 alpha of a ARF. Uh, tow truck is picking up the vehicle and transport unit is uh, 1097. So we're gonna go in the episode right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like on the video and be sure to subscribe down below if you want to see more content like this. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.